Hello, everyone. I am Cal, the ASMR Dragon, and welcome to another video. Where in today's video, I thought it would be very fun to kind of share something that I collect a lot of, and that is records. Records, records, records. Records are probably my favorite thing to collect, as I am very, very, very much so into music. I love listening to albums kind of front to back, and I think listening to a record really encourages that by you put it on the turntable, you can't really skip through the songs. You're in a way forced to listen to the album front to back, but I quite like that. I know that this is sort of not necessarily furry ASMR, but I thought it would be fun to try something a little different, a little new, and I've been kind of looking to make videos like this a little bit more, try something new out. And I thought this would be a good, fun start, and I'm really excited about it. So, anyway, I have two records to show during today's video. And the first of these is this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful record. Now, as you can see, there is a dragon on the front. A big, beautiful dragon on the front cover, along with some very scary looking industrial stuff <laughs> that's spewing smoke into the sky. But that is all part of the story of this album. And what's really cool about this uh, record, this vinyl, is that the cover, the sleeve, is all textured. So all the scales on it, you can, feel, you can feel each and every scale. You can feel his little nose right there, his nose right here. You can feel his eye all the way around there and over here. It's very, very cool. You can feel every like little thing on it. Even, even the smoke in the sky is all textured. Even the smoke is. I think that it's just a really, really, really cool record. But to go over more of this record. As you can see here, we have a very, very goofy band. <laughs> this is King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. And this album is their 24th studio album. They've put out 25 albums total. And they put out two last year. And this was one of them. And this is my favorite album from last year. This is Petrodragonic Apocalypse or Dawn of Eternal Night. An Annihilation of Planet Earth, and the Beginning of Merciless Damnation. It's a very, very absurd title, but it does a fairly accurate job of describing what happens on this record, because there's it's kind of a uh, story record, if you will. Um, as you can probably tell based on the text and kind of the theming so far, this is a metal record. I don't usually listen to metal much. I've listened to a couple metal bands like Tool and Gojira, Gojira System of a Down, um, a little bit of Dream Theater, but I don't listen to metal all too much. And I absolutely love this, and it makes me want to listen to metal so much more. We have in the band over here 
from right to left. We have Ambrose, Kenny Smith. We have Joey Walker. We have Stu McKenzie. We have Lucas Harwood. We have Michael Cavanaugh. He's giving you the death stare right now. And we have Cook Craig. They're all listed right down here as well. King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. This album has seven songs total. Motor Spirit, Supercell, Converge, Witchcraft, Gila Monster, Dragon, and Flamethrower. There was also for the just on uh, records, not, uh, yeah, it's only, it's exclusive to the records. There is Dawn of Eternal Night, which is, I think, like a 15 minute um, spoken word uh, song. And it's pretty neat. It just kind of tells the story of the album. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, to go over kind of two of these songs, Converge, I got the pleasure of seeing that song. Uh, I saw the live debut of that song at the Boston Calling Music Festival. And my favorite song on the album is Dragon. And I know what you may be thinking, that since I'm a dragon, I have a little bias. And it's somewhat true, but I do really love this song. It's easily my favorite on the album. It's a kind of nine minute song with multiple different movements in it. It's, it's really, really cool. But anyway, let me pull out the records because King Gizzard records are always super cool to see. Okay, here we have the lyrics for Dawn of Eternal Night. As you can see, it's a very long story. Um, and it, it's, it's chaotic, but essentially there are a bunch of witches that accidentally turn a little lizard into a massive dragon and the dragon basically takes over the world. It's very absurd. It's very absurd, but there are Two records this comes with. Two records, two records, two records. I like the way that it sounds. <laughs> Tapping on these. But anyway, the most fun part of seeing a King Gizzard record is it's the actual record. And so, let me put one of these aside and pull out the other one. So, when I ordered this record, um, there were a bunch of different variants. They all had different, like, colored wax or paint on them, and all I could see was the names of each one, and it gave, like, a brief description of what uh, it looked like, but I could not actually see pictures of what <laughs> each of them looked like, and so I got the Atomic Chaos version. And I thought that the Atomic K, I thought the name sounded really cool. So that's what I ultimately went with. And I think that it is really cool. <laughs> I love the splatter paint. Um, King Gizzard has a bunch of cool colored records. And that's part of why I love collecting them. So um, with that, this is Petrodragonic Apocalypse. And now. I will show the second record that I have with me right now. So let me put this away and take out the other record. Okay, so I have a bit of a story with this record. This is an album I 
only just recently really started getting into. Uh, at the start of this year, actually, right around the start of January, I started listening to this album. And I knew about this artist before. Actually, to tell you the name of this album, this is um, In the Darkness, Hearts Glow by Wise Blood. And Wise Blood is spelled W E Y E S. It's <laughs> kind of weird. <laughs> um, but. The little story I had was I actually saw her um, open up for Beck and Phoenix back in September. And I didn't know who she was. I actually didn't even know she was opening. I thought that someone else was opening for Beck and Phoenix, but it turned out she was. And um, my younger brother, I guess, knew. He, he wasn't, he didn't, he wasn't seeing the show, but he called me and was like, hey, are you seeing Wise Blood? And I was like, no, who's Wise Blood? Like, I don't, I don't know anything about Wise Blood. And he's like, yeah, she's opening. You should go, um, you should go see her. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll go see the opening band. Um, and so we went and we, um, yeah, we got our seats and we sat down. She was already playing. And I definitely, when it comes to concerts, I like to know the music. I like to know the music coming in, because then I enjoy it more. Um, and I knew none of her songs, but even still, sitting there and watching it, I was kind of, I was enjoying it. I definitely liked what I heard, but I, after seeing the show, I didn't really go and choose to put on her music. I probably should have. but. Um, yeah, I didn't put on her music until, um, a couple months ago in December, one of her songs on this album started coming up on my Spotify recommended. And that song was Twin Flame, Twin Flame, Twin Flame, Twin Flame. And so I decided that I needed to listen to this album because I started listening to it and I was like, oh my God, that song is beautiful. And so I gave it a listen and I was like, that's quite nice. And then I gave it another and another and another. And I think in a month, I ended up listening to this album 40 times over. <laughs> and my two most played songs on it are, um, it's not, it's not just me, it's everybody and Twin Flame, which I now have over a hundred plays on both of those songs. But anyway, in the darkness, hearts aglow. In the darkness, hearts aglow. Hearts aglow, hearts aglow. And there we can see the title, Wise Blood, and in the darkness, hearts aglow. And we got the whole track list. It's not just me, it's everybody, is, it might be my favorite song I've heard this year. It, it's beautiful. I like, it's, there are certain songs where I like just stop what I'm doing because I have to listen. Like, I need like no talking, nothing. I need to focus on it. And it's just so beautiful and wonderful that I, I stop and I listen every time. Um, God Turn Me Into a Flower is also just beautiful. And the end is just this amazing ambient sort of, uh, it's hard to describe. All these songs are beautiful. Uh, Twin Flame is wonderful. And one of my favorites is The Worst Is Done, which is a song about the pandemic. This album came out in uh, 2022, um, right after, or right towards the end of the pandemic. And some of the lyrics are just so on point. Um, and I don't know, I, I adore that song as well, but let me take out the record itself. Okay. So I completely forgot there's a poster in here too. So I came with a poster, which is absolutely awesome. 
We love that, but I will put that aside. There we go. Wise blood. <laughs> I forget her name. I think it's Natalie. Um, but on this side, we have the full track list with all the credits. And yeah. Oh yeah, all songs written by Natalie Mering. I think it's pronounced Natalie Mering. Um, I've been, whenever I get really into a band or artist, I immediately want to get their records and I also want to get merch. And so I keep looking on, I, I really want to get Wise Blood merch now. <laughs> I saw a shirt with the dragon on it and I kind of need it now because I, I just want it really bad. <laughs> but anyway, In the Darkness Hearts Aglow. It's wonderful. And I guess the last part to take out is the record itself. I've not actually spun this record yet. Um... But I'm probably going to do it next week because <laughs> I kind of, I did kind of burn myself out a little bit on the record. I mean, listening to it 40 or 50 times through is a little excessive, I will admit. But I'm kind of, you know, giving it some downtime now so that I can get back into it and love it just as much as I did when I first listened to it. There's some... There's some music where I wish I could go back to listening to it for the first time. And this is absolutely an album that I wish I could do that with. But, unfortunately, I can't. And that's okay. I can still enjoy the songs. I hope to see her live at some point because her music is amazing. I also recommend checking out um, her album Titanic Rising. That one is another masterpiece. I think she has two masterpieces, this and Titanic Rising. Just two excellent, excellent records. Can't recommend them enough. But anyway, let me put that one away. just to bring them back out. These two wonderful, 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 wonderful records. They're looking at each other. Look at them. They love each other. We have King Gizzard with Petrodragonic Apocalypse. And we have Wise Blood with And In The Darkness, Hearts Aglow. If I could tell you which of these records to listen to, well, I guess it's all depends on what you like more. If you like more chamber pop, art pop, then Wise Blood would be your go-to. If you like more hard rock, thrash metal, progressive metal, all that very heavy, fast-paced, kind of relentless, then Petrodragonic Apocalypse would be your go-to. But I love them both. I think I love them both equally. They're amazing. They're both amazing in their own regard. But anyway, thank you for joining me for this little video. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know your thoughts. I know this is kind of a new sort of format. And I don't know how it will be received. But I had a ton of fun making this. And so I certainly do hope that people enjoy it just as much as I enjoyed making it. But with that, I hope you all have a wonderful night, and I hope to see you guys in...